Hi, we're going to Universal Studios Japan in Osaka to eat. I'll show you everything we ate and I'll be comparing the prices against Universal Studios Hollywood and California. I think you're gonna see the biggest difference in price between the two cities once we hit Super Nintendo World. In the time I made this video, the exchange rate was roughly 150 yen to one US dollar. So that's what we're working with. Make sure you subscribe if you want some more food and travel videos. I have a bunch of Japan food videos coming up. When getting tickets online, a one-day pass in Universal Studios Osaka costs 8,600 yen, about 57 US dollars. Universal Studios Hollywood starts at $109. And that's without the express passes. We couldn't get any because they ran out so fast. But that's okay, we're not really here for the rides, we're here for the food. Before eating, we start off by going to the Jurassic Park area where we hit our one ride for the day. We were face down and dangling, it was kinda scary. The first snack we got was popcorn at Jurassic Park. This is only because I wanted the Velociraptor popcorn bucket, but I was disappointed that it only came with salt flavor. Until I actually tried it. Is that full of popcorn? Yes, it's full. No. Oh, no. You just get this oh. much. Oh, there's popcorn in here. Oh, it looks pretty good. The popcorn had nice crunch and flavor. I totally underestimated that one. I told myself I'd stop buying popcorn buckets, but it's a Velociraptor. Next, Doug bought a turkey leg, still in the Jurassic Park area. That price gap is crazy to me. I thought that maybe this leg is smaller than the Hollywood one. Nope. I saw some videos of the turkey leg in Hollywood and they seemed about the same size. It's a good smoky flavor and it's juicy on the inside. At first, the outside is a bit leathery, but once you get inside, it's nice and juicy. Oh, very good. There's a couple restaurants in this area and we went with Discovery Restaurant. You know why? Because the food looks cool and the interior. Oh, they missed the opportunity to serve green jello. I really wanted to try the kids junior expedition set, but they wouldn't let me order it. I wanted to pretend I had a kid, but I didn't want to jinx it. I'm so happy we're in Asia because a lot of the meals are served with rice. This bowl also had cauliflower, broccoli, edamame, corn. By the way, not all of the dishes that exist in Universal Studios Osaka exist in Universal Studios Hollywood. So we just tried to find menu items that were closest in comparison to the ones we're having here in Japan. So crispy and juicy. Doug said that after a few bites, he takes back the compliment. The chicken was just okay. It's like they tried to make sweet and sour chicken, but also tried to make buffalo sauce at the same time. Yeah. This was my second choice after the Junior Expedition set. Another rice bowl, but this time with hamburger steak, eggs, and onion rings included. Kinda got a Filipino-Hawaiian thing going on here. This one I compared to a burger in Hollywood since it was also in the Jurassic Park area. That's kinda soggy, but the flavor's good. Fries are kind of strange. I thought I was gonna get fries dusted in sour cream and onion powder, but instead I got a sour cream and onion dip. It was too sour for me. We ended up just eating the fries plain. The meat patty of this dish though was super soft and moist and it had that sweet and salty flavor. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna try it. We were just in the Wizarding World last summer in Hollywood where it was 90 degrees Fahrenheit the snow didn't make sense. Here it was high 40s, so a lot better, but it had five times more people. We're here on a Monday, non-holiday by the way. Looking around, it didn't seem like there was a huge difference in the two parks, but I did want to try their butter beer. We got the frozen butter beer in a collectible metal stein. This, my friends, is a pint. <laughs> it comes in pints? Is it, does it taste the same? It doesn't taste so sweet. Really? It actually it's tastes great. nice. Really? It's pretty good, actually. I noticed that's a trend mm. between America and Japan. It tastes different. It's not as sweet, but it also tastes like they put some other flavor in there. Mm. Not like cinnamon, not cinnamon, but... A spice of some yeah. sort. Did you try it in Hollywood? No. This tastes better. Next, my sister grabbed some Minion treats. It's very hot. <laughs> also, I noticed that steamed buns are popular theme park snacks here because I also had a few in Tokyo Disney Sea. This bun is very juicy inside, almost like a stew. And the bread itself is nice and fluffy. Show the camera the eyeball. This way. It's like having pork stuff. It's like a little bit sweeter, or like char siu. It's like a sweeter curry. There's little banana candies on it. This is one of the churros we tried today. I don't know how good this would be because of the bananas. Sword fight. Mmm. The churros crispier than the tiramisu one. The banana flavor is like, 
tastes like candy. It's not bad. It's just my least favorite out of all the churros. Ba, 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 this one is a lot fancier than the first churro and has a way longer line for it too. <laughs> Only one third of the churro has tiramisu cream piped onto it, which probably means you gotta eat it from both ends to spread it out. You can really taste the coffee. The churro is nice and crispy. <laughs> For the final churro, we headed over to the Jaws area. I miss the Jaws shark in Universal Studios Hollywood. Seeing it here made me feel like a kid again for sure. Ah, mm, delicious. It has like strawberry icing and then strawberry powder. This is the best one out of all of them. It had the shortest line. It's got a fat poppy. It's a little tangy, it's like strawberry tangy, it's good. He's feeding the shark. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're holding it right for the shark. <laughs> I wish I filmed more of it, but they designed this area to look like LA and we couldn't stop laughing. They posted up complicated parking signs and even had a crosswalk that you can press and the flashing hand shows up. People were so fascinated by the flashing hand, everyone kept looking at it. Another thing I loved about Universal Studios Osaka is that the team members are so nice. They're always waving at you or complimenting your clothes, or in my case, my Raptor popcorn bucket. Oh my god, you got it. He's a big boy. What'd you get? Vanilla ice cream. I got a single scoop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big cone. I miss you, Dolce Coffee. Whoa. Whoa. When 4 p.m. hit, we could finally enter Super Nintendo World. Okay, I thought the Hollywood one was slammed. This one was, like I mentioned earlier, probably five times as packed. Also, the rides were over two hours to wait, so I thought we should just go to the restaurant. Uh, no. Even that line was crazy. I'm not waiting in this line. Oh my god. Thankfully, Yoshi's Snack Island around the corner didn't have a line when we went, so I grabbed a couple of things for all of you to see. <laughs> the DK, I can't. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> they had melon and mango, and then I asked her which one is her favorite. Oh, it's like a strawberry yogurt. If you haven't noticed yet, take a look at how big that price difference is for the snacks in here. I did look up the items I was comparing them to just to make sure they were similar enough so it was a fair comparison. For the Japan price, I'm not complaining either, but if I made Hollywood prices, no, nah. The outside crust is nice right now. You gotta eat this hot. It's nice and creamy from the cheese and peppery from the yakisoba. It tastes like pizza. The noodles just turned to mush. I eat just the bread. Doug. <laughs> Mushroom cream. This is all we get? Yeah. Oh, a little sweet. It is like sweet corn. Is this the mushroom? Caramel peach? Yes. Okay. Oh, it does taste like peach. That's pretty good. Yeah, it does taste like peach. It's weird. <laughs> The popcorn here is good. I would say the popcorn here is better than Disneyland's popcorn. At this point, it was just too crowded to do anything, so we headed back to meet the rest of our family for dinner. So something to keep in mind, the exchange rate was definitely working in our favor. If the yen was a bit stronger, or if the dollar was a bit weaker, obviously things wouldn't have been as cheap for us. So it just made everything taste that much better. Universal Studios Hollywood, while it is pricier, they have the movie set tours where you can go see the actual like movies and shows that have been filmed there and production crews actually go there to film stuff. And given this was a Monday, it was not a holiday. It was crazy how many more people were in Osaka. We were thinking maybe it's because of all the neighboring countries visiting versus in Hollywood where maybe it's just mostly Americans. Japan, however, does a bunch of fun themed rides. Like we just missed the Demon Slayer pop-up. So both parts have their pros and cons. Tell me which one you favor in the comments. Osaka automatically gets more points just because they have a whole dedicated area for Jurassic Park. Thanks for watching. If you want more food and travel videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next eating adventure. Bye.